Welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. So I think what we'll try to do this episode is uh, we should probably make a sea glide and then maybe go into some caves. But uh, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> First, I need to know what it takes. Uh, oh, where is it? Is it this one? Oh no, deployables. Here we go. Our ingredients added. Oh no, we have to. Okay, no, we need to get the fragments. I forgot. Okay, that's okay. Yes, because we did see a fragment on the ground last episode. Ooh. Wow, I've got a, I've got a lot of stuff. Okay, I've just like, tried to refresh my my memory of what I haven't haven't done. All right. In that case, so we did go hello to the emergency supply cache, and we got a. Uh, compass out of it but I don't know how worth it it is to make it I'll make it anyways oh hello but yes we should definitely look for all these sea glide fragments I was I didn't even paying attention I'm looking for them all right I guess we need ribbon plants yeah, if we can do that then we can move pretty quick. And yeah, I'm, I'll probably head back towards where the cache was just in case. Maybe I missed something because I thought it would disappear after I've gone there. That's okay. Right now, I think we just have to do more exploring. Or maybe, hopefully our sister will give us something else to do. Hello. Okay, good. That was <laughs> easy. Fantastic. Alright. Got these bridges are everywhere. I really like the looks of them. Alright, now that we've got it, I'll see what it needs and we'll try to make it. Oh, penguins. Alright, then I'll see what the compass needs to. Uh, a couple of wire wiring kit. Oh yeah, that needs silver. Okay. Understood. Uh, battery. Uh, I'll probably do most of this. Hang on. We've got that one. Uh, no, get out of there. Okay, what else? Uh, just just the battery. So two room plats and copper ore. Do I have another ribbon? Then I do! Oh, fantastic. Du, du, du. Oh, I have to make it. Uh. Alright, well that wasn't too bad. Now we just gotta get some silver. Uh, anything else here that could be useful? Probably not at this stage. Actually, I'm kind of paranoid that maybe the sea monkey thing will take my sea glide. <laughs> That'd be quite rude. Ah, oh, this doesn't need to be hot barred. Okay. So I'll do, so I'll save. Because you can't be too cautious. And we'll look around. So I'll head back to the emergency cache. Because there was like a cave around there. Oh, it's like floating. Oh, then it <laughs> fell back in. Another thing I should probably make are some beacons. I think they only cost like titanium and copper. That should be pretty easy, I think. <laughs> it. Come here, come here, come here, boomerang. Okay. Yeah, so far we haven't found any, ah, uh, what you call it, dangerous predators just yet, but uh, you know, don't hold your breath, quite literally. Oh, that's another one. Oh, I don't- I think you just get titanium if you scan them again, but I'll do it anyways. Yeah. I'll probably end up using them. Hello, sea monkey. Alright, well maybe we'll find some silver in the kelp forest. Whoa, that was weird rendering in like that. Ah. 
Oh, hello. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. Oh, maybe we can make the sea moth. I don't know why I'm whispering. What the? <laughs> that time off just spinning. Uh, ooh, like the UK. <laughs> Oops. Maybe someone knocked into him. Aw. That's funny. Alright, he's okay. He's just a bit disoriented. <laughs> oh, oh, just getting some lag there. That's okay. Ugh. Do I want to go down here? Yeah, it's a bit laggy when I get here. Just jumping a little bit. Ah. Was that cold? So it's just silver outcrop. It's not sh like shale. Oh, sorry. I was trying to scan it. Bloodroot. Oh. Okay. Oh, actually, I should probably just use this. Not, not. <laughs> I hate it when they look at it. Uh, how do I turn that off? All right. Ooh, this is creepy. That said gold? Ooh. So I'm just so cautious. So cautious. What the heck is that? What is this? A uh, generic bowl? Quite literally, or NCGR. Oh, oh, maybe it's not something that's finished just yet. I better not go too far. Yes, <laughs> I think I might need to like make a sea moth and come down here. All right, let's not be in here. Ooh. I did find some. What do you call it? Some silver. Sorry. I don't know. Take it out. Oxygen. God, can you imagine if like. Like in this situation, like you're running out of oxygen, and then that stupid little sea monkey like takes your sea glide, and then you drown, and die. All right, do I have? So I just got. All right, so I've got exactly two silver. So I can make the compass, but what we should also do is search for the. Oh my god, I already forgot. More of the mobile vehicle bay fragments. Oh my god, I can't even talk. Should just stop talking. <laughs> Make it easier for everybody. Oh. Yeah, there's another hole here. So, oh, there's more boxes here. Okay. Oh, some food. Food's always good. Are there more outcrops? Gold outcrop? I guess it's gonna have gold. It's interesting that they're specific to materials now. I wonder if that's always going to be the case. 30 seconds. Okay. I've got a lead for you. Oh. An alien sanctuary in the Twisty Bridges. 200 meters down. I need to go back to the research site. I can't let you. Why not? Boss's orders. We're trying to keep you alive. Mm -hmm. Only because salaries cost less than lawsuits. Is that cynicism making you friends down there? Sure. They're just not human. The files are on your data bank. Do as you please. Just tell me what you find. And don't get me into trouble. Okay. Now I find it interesting that like her sister wanted to send it in like an emergency evacuation shuttle to me. But Robin's just like, nope. I want, I want to stay here. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Codes includes sanctuary zero location data. Uh, okay. So this is maybe the new thing she gave us. I haven't looked at quite a few of these. All right. Sanctuary zero was discovered some months ago, operating on low power. All attempts to access the facility have failed. It is located in the so-called Twisty Bridges, an area dense with macroflora, reaching 100 meters to 300 meters in depth. 
what is this thing doing in the background? <laughs> Sorry, just looking at it. something was like bobbing up and down. The fast growth of the tubular organic bridges throughout the area prevents a permanent route to the facility from being established. It can be located at a depth of 200 meters and contractors are advised to use visual references to locate a, a viable path. Sorry. The alien architects constructed multiple sanctuary facilities around 4546B. The purpose was to store and preserve the alien's mental states for later retrieval in case of emergency. Interesting. While many individuals fled to these sanctuaries when the Kara contagion was released, most succumbed before they could reach one. One of those sanctuaries we have gained access to, none have contained a viable alien consciousness, and it is further unclear uh, what sense could be made of the data they had. Alright, uh... Alright, I don't think most of these are necessary. We've got some work docs. Oh, this is just about... A sister, right? Sam Goodall, forty-eight. Uh, okay, so maybe that station in the sky over here, this one is Vesper. I've mentioned it before. Wait, why is it so dark? But it's light up here. Am I seeing things? Hmm. Sorry, right. we won't judge it. All right. Ah, there's even more chests I missed. Yeah, so the dark is not really dark. <laughs> like, I think the, the vines kind of are still quite bright. That's okay. Early access. All right, but yes, let's keep looking for the mobile vehicle bay fragments. Oh no, that's just a fish to scan. That's okay. Oh. Thirty seconds. What's this? So one of these alien things here. Ah, oh, precursor technology. Ooh, no, 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 son of a bitch! That's the second time I've lost that thing. Where'd you go? Give it back. Where are you? Where are you? You stupid monkey. God damn it. I know where you live. <laughs> Where'd it go? Ah. Uh, and of course it's night, so I can't see as well. Where are you? Damn it. I should have been more careful and I... Mm, where'd it go? <sighs> I don't see it anywhere. Oh, that's so annoying. Alright, I'll look for him later. I just want to read this precursor thing. <laughs> God damn it. There we go. Uh, oh, that's it. Precursor bounty. Gain rewards for precursor technology. Alright. Uh, oh, I didn't read anything about the Titan Hole fish. <laughs> Slow, stupid, and delicious is all I got from that. The first thing I saw. Valuable source of ox- Oh, what valuable oxygen source if you can reach it? Huh? Really? Large docile herbivore which emits oxygen and is defended by small aggressive symbiotes. Oh, interesting. I did not know that. Oh. Okay. But seriously, where is this stupid monkey? So if I go up to you... Ah, right! Okay, so that did work. Oh, interesting, because I guess we don't have any of the the brain coral that used to give us some stuff. Some oxygen, sorry. Ah. So maybe that kind of replaces it. Okay, seriously, where is this monkey? Do you have it? Where is it? I will kill you. How about you? Nope. <laughs> God damn. I mean, I guess they're easy to make, but... Oh. Okay. I shouldn't dwell too long here. But I do want to go into... the cave. Yeah. 
Yeah, I want to look again if what it's daylight and try to get my stuff back. Oh, is it you? Yes, it's you. Come here. Come here. Well, we got really bright very quickly. Jerk. Or at least I got it. Ugh. This is so eerie. I don't like it. <laughs> this makes me so nervous. It's another one of these weird things. Thirty seconds. What is that? It looks like a nest. All right. Well, I have to leave. Oh. Oh, that's why it got dark. It was just I was just because I was entering a different area. That's okay. Why don't we look at a different direction and I'll keep looking for fragments. That sounds like a good plan. And hopefully this thing won't take my stuff again. Next thing you know they will be piling the sea moth. Actually why not, why not just use this? It's out of here. I think it's already daytime. Yeah, that's good. Oop, aye aye. All right, why don't we go maybe out this way? Just pick a direction and go. She has my inventory. Oh no, I can still pick up some more stuff. It's a bit dark. Alright, did she ever indicate where... She's got a emergency supply cache there. But she doesn't have a marker about the twisty bridges, I've noticed. Or is it is just that? No, it's not that. We were there before. I'm guessing we just have to find it ourselves. Which is okay, I guess. Uh, is that? No, that's the sea glide again. Ah, oh, it's one of these plants. These are cool. I like the looks of these. These look really cool. Can I scan it? Uh, maybe I'm not allowed to scan it just yet. That's okay. Alright, it's starting to get a bit further down. I haven't saved actually. Hang on, let me just. Oh, uh, uh, uh. just gonna save. And then we'll go down a bit more. Oh, what was that? Hang on, I saw something just over there. Is that another... yeah, it's another precursor technology. Just apparently I just get points for scanning them? Oh, out of 50? Jeez, okay, I know like my webcam kind of cuts that off, but I just have to scan 50 of those. That's a little nuts. Ooh, this looks different. What is this? Ooh. I feel so unsafe if I'm not in a... Uh, uh oh, there's something there. If I'm not in like the sea moth. <laughs> 30 seconds. So it's still a lime outcrop. That. 
Oh, I know what the sound of that is. That was the, um, <laughs> the crash fish. It just exploded. I didn't see it, though. That's funny. Oh, shit. Ugh. Okay, how's the inventory looking? Pretty full, but we're okay. Actually, maybe... Yeah, wash it down. Alright, guys, I'm actually out of time for this episode, so we will continue this on shortly. We'll, we'll try to keep looking for the mobile vehicle bay fragments because I'm pretty sure that's what we need in order to progress down to 200 meters anyways. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying Below Zero. It is so creepy and spooky just like the first one. And yes, there's lots of cool new things to explore. So as usual, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel if you want to. You can also like the video. I always greatly appreciate things like that. And I'm on a few social media sites. I always pick the links in the description below. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will be right back.